Hi, I'm Romy from South East Sling. Today I'm going to show you how to check that your stretchy wrap is the correct tightness to hold your baby safely and securely. Now the wrap I'm demoing with today is a boba wrap, which are available on my website, South East Slings. Um, so this is a um, cotton wrap and it's a what's called a two-way stretchy wrap, which means it stretches along the width of the material and along the length of the material. Um, but the techniques I'm going to show you for checking today are going to be applicable regardless of what the brand of wrap is. You just will need to adjust it depending on how stretchy your wrap is. So, I've got the wrap already tied on. If you need instructions for how to put the wraps on, there are videos on my YouTube channel showing this. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I want to check that I've got the right amount of space to fit the baby in these cross pieces here. So the ones that go crossing over my back and coming over the front. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure all the slack, so all the loose material, is in this cross piece. So when you put baby in, that's the piece that's going to hold them securely. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to put my wrist through like this and just give a really good pull to see what the space is. If I turn sideways, you can see there's a lot of stretch here. So you want enough space to fit baby, but not so much they're loose. So if you look at this, that would be pretty big baby. So there's a bit too much fabric in here. So what I need to do is I'm just going to feed the fabric down and just follow each one of these around behind. So I'm just bringing that round towards the back and the same as the other one, bring it round towards the back and then bring that fabric back round to the front and you can see I've got rid of a huge amount of slack there just by bringing that round. So I'm going to just tighten that up and re-knot it. So I'm then going to do the same thing again, put my hands in here and give a really good pull and check I've got enough space to fit my baby but not so much they're loose. So it obviously depends on the size of your baby, the size of your chest, how much room you'll need, but give a, a decent pull with your wrist just to make sure it's not going to be too loose for baby. So that's the first thing to check. Second thing is you want to make sure that this middle band here isn't very loose because if this is really, really loose, so if I bring all the slack into here, if this is really loose, then when you bring this up over baby, it's not actually going to do anything supportive. It's going to mean that over time, the wrap will get looser because you've got a lot of slack here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this here and just slide the fabric around behind and then bring these up and over my shoulders like this. So what that's done is that's tightened up that middle band so the slack's here. Now depending on how much you've had to get out you may now need to tighten this again a little bit. So just bring those back round and back to the knot and re-tighten. Now a really useful tip, once you've got your stretchy wrap the right time is for you and your baby. So if you've got the right amount of space here, you know that that's right, you've tried it with baby, and you know that they're held secure. Have a look at how long these pieces are. So for me, you probably can't see it in the camera, but they're coming down to just below my knee. So if I put it on another time, and these are coming up to, I don't know, halfway up my thigh, I'll know that it's too loose. So it's a really good gauge of just whether it's the, pretty much the right tightness when you put it on. So we've done our checks, we've checked, we've got the right amount of space in here to fit baby and this piece here is nice and snug. I'm now ready to put the baby in. So I'm going to just make a little space in the middle and just make sure you know which one of these is closest to your body. So for me it's the one over my left shoulder, so the one on this side, that's closest to my body. So I'm going to bring this one round baby first. Now it's the same principle regardless of whether you've got a newborn or a older baby, it's just you're going to, have to be supporting them in their the position they naturally go into. So for an, a newborn baby, knees will be tucked in, hip width apart. For an older baby, they will have to start to wrap their legs around you. But you're just gonna hold baby with the head on your chest. I'm going to put my wrist through the material here and just stretch the fabric down and bring baby's foot through. So that's hooked into their knee fit. And we'll do exactly the same for the other side. So bring this round, hook it into baby's knee fit. Now check you're happy with their height. You want their head on your upper chest and you want to ideally have their bottom lower than knees. So for a newborn, they've got their knees a hip width apart, as they're older, they're wrapping around. Now the one that's closest to me, which is this one here, I'm just gonna stretch the outside edge over my shoulder and then bring this edge right around over the bottom and then do exactly the same with the other side. So stretch this out and bring this one around over their bottom. Okay, make sure you can see baby's face and they've got clear airways. And you want to feel like they're held as tightly as holding them in arms. Now, if you've done your checks before, this should be holding them snug. But if you want to double check, just rest your hand on the back of their head and just gently lean forward and make sure their body can't pull away from you. Once you've done those, just reach underneath 
find this middle band, bring it over one foot, over the other, and then ease it up to the nape of their neck. And because we've got this one nice and snug, we know this is going to be supportive rather than loose over here. That's essentially it. Um, there's a few things you can do to give baby a bit more visibility. There's another video of mine which shows that, so have a little look over on my YouTube channel. It's also on my Facebook and on my Instagram. Um, but the key things are, can you see baby's face and have they got clear airways? Are they held nice and securely so they can't slump? So if you want to check, rest your hands on the back of their head, gently lean forward and check their body doesn't pull away from you. Now with a stretchy wrap, because they're designed that you can leave them on and just pop baby in and out every time you want to use them, it's really useful being able to check that the stretchiness is correct. So say you've taken baby out, or if it's reverse this and take baby out. If I've taken baby out, I just want to check that I've definitely got the right amount of space. Bring this over their legs. So if you want to check, you've already got it on, you've already used it, just double check you've got the right amount of space. Very occasionally, if you haven't got it, all the slack into the crosses, over time you may find that it gets a little bit looser. So just giving a little check before you put baby in to make sure you've really got the right amount of space to fit them nice and snugly is perfect. So that is my suggestions for checking that your stretchy wrap is tight. I hope that's helpful. If you'd like to get one of these, they are on my website which is South East Slings. I've also got lots of other videos for stretchy wraps on my YouTube channel so if you want to head over there, subscribe, like my Facebook page, like my Instagram so you get to see all the latest updates. All of my videos now are going on to all three platforms so you can look at them whichever one you want but YouTube is generally the best one to look at if you want to look at a lot of them because they're all done in playlists on there. If you'd like any help with any of your carriers please get in touch. I do one-to-one -one consultations online and in person, so whether you're local to me, whether you're the other side of the world, I can still help by video call. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So I hope that was helpful.